This tutorial is a continuation from the last one on high charts bar charts and in this tutorial I'm making three improvements to our chart. The first one is I'm going to set the height of the chart dynamically um, according to how many currencies we have. So we're going to take that total number, we're going to multiply it by the height that we want for each row and that's going to give us a total height for our um, chart. And the second thing I'm doing is I'm removing the non-currency items from it. So if you remember from the last one, um, we had some things like silver and gold in here. And number one, those aren't currencies. And second of all, um, their daily move was quite a bit more than these other currencies. So their, you know, their negative move or positive was more than the other currencies. So what it was doing was it was setting the minimum and maximum value on these charts um, too extreme, so it was harder to read the actual currencies. So we used the substring method in, um, in JavaScript to remove those. And um, the last thing I'm doing is if we jump over the code here and we go to our, um, go to our object, which is up here now, and inside series and this data one. So in the last one, we passed data, um, an array of all of the different numbers, okay? So all the different currency moves. Uh, this was an array of numbers before, but what we're going to do in this one is we're going to set this to an array of objects. And when we set it to an array of objects, we're going to have more flexibility, and I'm going to have the ability to change um, these colors from, from green to red, depending on um, if they're greater to zero or not. So I'll just show you um, sort of what that looks like. It's up here, um, if I can find it. No, sorry, it's in the um, in the Ajax callback. And basically, it's right here, okay? So um, because that was an array, well, first of all, um, we're, you know, first of all, we're getting all of the um, currencies, which are in this change percent array. Okay, and we're going to loop through every one of those. Okay, and as we loop through it, each time we're going to push on an object. Okay, and that object is right here. Okay, so the object has two properties it has um, the Y property, and that's set to um, the, you know, the percentage change of that individual currency. Okay, and we use I here to access it, and we're looping through all of them. And the next thing is color right here. And color is set to, you know, this ternary operator. And I'm going to come back to that shortly. So let's first go to the first thing, which is um, setting the height of the chart uh, dynamically. And that's right here. So before this height was just set to 3,500 pixels. But what I've done here simply is um, this change percent dot length. We check the length of it. How many currencies are we using on this chart? And then I'm multiplying that by 30, okay, which is the height that I wanted um, for each row. And you could set that to whatever you want, depending on how tall you want those um, bars to be. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk about was removing the non-currency items, okay? So if I scroll up to, right, if I scroll up to right here, um, before we just had this, we were, you know, we were pushing on all the percentage changes onto this um, the localhost local change percent um, array, and then we were pushing on all of the different names onto this currency array right here. But now we're wrapping that in an if statement, and we're saying if um, the name of that currency, okay, and then we're running the substring method on it. And we're passing it zero, which is where we start from, and three, which is how many characters we want. Okay, so you'll notice that all of the actual currencies start with USD. Okay, so that works perfectly for the substring method. Um, so basically, right here we're checking: okay, is the first three letters of that name is it USD in capitals right here? And if it is, then we're going to push that um, percentage change onto this array and we're going to push the name onto this array okay and um, you know originally these were coming from the data and we got the data back from Yahoo and then we're checking the length of it and so this 
data.list.resources has all of the um, has all of the objects including those things like gold and silver okay but when we remove them here um, our array here this change percent okay um, it's getting those removed so um, what I did at the very bottom here of this um, of the callback function is we're just we're logging out the length the the length of the um, the data list dot resources and we're also console logging you know our new array okay so if we go over to the browser here and we inspect and then go to console you'll see we have 164 here and then 159 so using that substring method we removed um, we removed five things from it that weren't currency as they were some some metals or something like that okay so um, the last thing that I want to talk about is passing um, the object to data instead of just passing an array of numbers so like I was saying before um, this data here in the last video it was just an array of numbers but this time we're gonna set this to an array of objects and that's gonna you know give us the ability to set the color for each one so um, let's go um, let's go down here to our um, callback function where we do it and it's right here okay so remember this change percent is um, an array of all of the currencies that we want to use okay we've already sort of sanitized this and you know taken out only the currencies and then what we're gonna do is we're going you know right now this um, that data part it's already an array so now we're gonna push some objects onto it okay so all of this is where it happens okay and the object literal is this part right here okay so um, this is the object literal we're pushing onto it and y has a value of this dot change percent and i okay so we're going to get the percentage change um, just for that individual currency each time and the color is set to a ternary operator okay and this is a very um, very useful and very flexible way um, to set a property so so color will be set to green or red depending on what happens in this conditional statement right here so if that change percent if it was less than zero then we're going to return red to color and if it wasn't less than zero that means it was zero or greater so then we're going to return green to color right here okay so once we have once we have this set right here and then we refresh refresh the page you can see we have red for the ones that are less than zero and green for the ones that were um, equal or greater to zero so I think that's all I want to talk about in this one and that's just um, how to do some customizing um, to your high charts bar chart